Hello people and welcome to BTECT. Today I've got a very special set of headphones for you, the Ordera AO1s. Why are they so special? Well, these headphones are finely tuned to the individual's hearing and the results just sound incredible. But first, I wanna say a big thank you to our sponsors, Direct Mobiles. They have over 23 years of award-winning customer service and are experts at helping you find the right phone. Check the description below for a link to their website or search directmobiles.co.uk. Now let's talk about these headphones. You see, we all hear differently, our ears being more sensitive to certain tones and frequencies than others. Some people, for example, may hear low frequencies much clearer than, say, a higher pitched tone. Age is a factor here too. Have you ever come across those teenager alarms, or as it's described here, as anti-loitering equipment? It's supposed to emit a really annoying high-pitched sound that only people under a certain age can hear. So with all these variables, it's actually quite an art form to produce a set of headphones that's generally accepted as having a good sound. This is exactly what these ingenious set of headphones do, and they do it really well. You have to put in a bit of work though, but believe me when I say it's well worth the effort. This is my review of the Odera AO1s. So let's open it up and see what you get for your £298, which sounds expensive, but if you consider that this is basically a bespoke electronics product, which is tailored to the individual, then this is potentially the best value for money product we've ever seen. Imagine if you went to Bose or another manufacturer and asked them to make you a set of headphones that were tuned specifically to your unique hearing. Well, you'd be looking at a hell of a lot more. Right, let's look inside this smaller box and it has all the accessories you might need to use your headphones with older or non-Bluetooth enabled equipment. So you have a wireless audio transceiver that uses Qualcomm's APTX low latency technology for a fast and reliable connection. There's also an optical audio cable, a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary audio cable, a micro USB cable, and a mounting strip for the transceiver, as well as the quick start guide. The headphones come in a very nice hard shell case with a soft textured feel to it. There's some more accessories inside here, another micro USB cable for charging, a quarter inch audio jack, a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable for a hardwired connection, an airplane adapter, and a little carabiner so you can hook your case onto your bag. The Odera AO1s have a metal and plastic construction, the headband being mostly made of aluminium, apart from the soft sponge material at the top, which is finished with the Odera logo printed into a leather-like fabric at the very top. It has the ability to extend to different head sizes, but the shape of the metal band does not follow the contours of your head. It swoops out and the only point of contact is with the soft part at the very top. This makes the Orderas very comfortable and will make you sweat less in hot weather than if they were more snug. The trade-off here is that they're not the most flattering headset in the world. The ear cups are made of a matte finished plastic of a good enough quality. They are comfortable and are marked on the inside left and right, which is very important for the tuning process, which we'll get into in a moment. On the left cup, we have a 3.5 millimeter jack and basic controls, power switch, volume up and down, and a pairing button while on the right cup there's a switch for the active noise cancelling and a micro USB port. The buttons and switches are well positioned but they're very basic switches and feel a bit cheap. It's a little disappointing because this is an advanced set of headphones and I feel like they deserve a more modern feeling interface. You get 40mm Mylar drivers inside those ear cups and it has an operational range of about 10 meters. Listening time is actually excellent. You get between 35 and 45 hours of listening time on these headphones depending on whether you're using their noise cancellation or not. And if the headphones are hardwired, you'll get upwards of 65 hours out of it. With my usage of these headphones, I'm probably charging them about once a week. So why is it so advanced? Let's get into it. First, you download the Odera app for iOS and Android. Make sure the Bluetooth is on and pair your devices. Once you've done that, you'll be offered to take a hearing test so that the Orderas can understand exactly how you hear and your sensitivity to a range of different frequencies. There are three tests to choose from of varying lengths, a three minute quick test, a five minute more detailed test, or the full 10 minute hearing examination. Sounds boring, right? 10 whole minutes. But look at it this way. If you bought a bespoke suit and the tailor said to you, he can make you a better suit if you just wait a few more days, then it would make sense to wait a while to get the most from your money. The same applies here. If you bought these headphones and you don't bother to take the time to properly tune them, then you're really mugging yourself off. 
The test requires you to find somewhere quiet and it will play you a series of very quiet tones through the headphones. You then need to adjust the volume either up or down so you can barely hear it, then move on to the next. The most detailed exam tests each ear with 32 different tones and it does take a while, but the way it's laid out is kind of like a game, so it is kind of fun. And trust me guys, it is definitely worth doing the full 10 minute exam and take your time to get it right too. Once the test is complete, a slider bar will appear to control the level of the effect so you can hear the difference that the profiling has on the sound. Without it, the Audera sound okay. It's quite a flat and very bassy sound. When you switch on the effect, at first it seems quite tinny compared to without it, but give your ears a few minutes to adjust to this new way of hearing the music and gradually it stops sounding tinny and you start hearing a far more detailed sound. You hear everything and you will pick up on things in your favorite songs that you've never heard before. Now I know that sounds cliche, but it is absolutely the truth. If you're used to listening to headphones with say heavy bass, then it's not until you use the Orderis for a while that you realize how overwhelming the bass was in your previous set. And now the bass is at the perfect level. So you can hear everything, all the different tones and all the different notes, giving a much richer and fuller experience. With these headphones, you hear the song exactly how it was intended to be heard. The active noise cancelling function does a very good job of enhancing the experience too, cutting out most of the noise and echo through the air cups as you move around and allowing you to focus more on the sound. Our understanding of hearing has come a long way in the last decade or so. Nowadays we have far fewer kids growing up with speech impediments because of hearing problems. And that's thanks to doctors and audiologists who have developed ways of understanding what frequencies a child may or may not be able to hear. Once they identify that, they can provide a bespoke tuned set of hearing aids for the child, which will allow he or she to hear those critical sounds of the pronunciation of words like s or th. This is basically that technology cleverly applied to the mainstream and with the added bonus of being an excellent choice for people who use hearing aids. I love this thing and I think it's well worth the asking price. I can't imagine myself wanting to buy another set. I think when this one dies, I'll probably just get the same one again. If you truly love your music and you find listening to it inspirational, or even if you don't listen to much music and like audiobooks or listen to talk radio, then you really should check out these headphones. I was listening to Formula One racing on it the other day. And when the camera was on board the car, you could hear all kinds of different noises coming from the car that you'd never hear anywhere else. It just makes whatever you watch or listen to a more immersive experience. As you guys know, I'm a camera guy. I know lots about cameras, but I don't know much about audio. But I do know that those are the best sounding headphones I've ever used. Anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching my video about the Aldero AO1s. If you like this video, then please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because we've got a lot more good stuff coming on BTEC very soon. What with the Note 9 coming and I'm going to be bringing you all the latest news from IFA. So trust me, you're not going to want to miss that. I'm David Wildman and this was BTECT.